Hello and welcome back. I just wanted to show you guys before I turn on the overhead light how bright it is over here in this corner with my new Barina light. It comes with a 16 foot cord, no sponsorship by the way, but it comes with a 16 foot cord and look at that nice white light. It's, I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. And We've got some more orchid supplies from the orchid supply store, which if you'd like to get a 12% discount on your next order in the coupon gift certificate area, put T R I S H and you will get your 12% and it is a multi-use coupon guys. So use it as many times as you'd like for orchids or supplies. But today I thought I would show you some blooms because I will be cutting off. I just turned the overhead on. I will be cutting off my Phalaenopsis spikes soon, but look who finally decided to open up some buds. Let's see if I can get them into some focus there. Look at those. Isn't she gorgeous? Just beautiful. And the spike, it's funny, she started blooming in the middle of the spike. And that is the end of, well, the front end of the spike. But if we go, She's got all the way down there and she's just starting to open these back ones. Pretty odd little thing. She's been in spike forever. And I guess I could tell you what this is. This is, let me get in there, Orange Kiss, Catatonte Orange Kiss that I got from Brookside's, oh, back in February, I believe of, let's just look real quick, of 2021. So she came in spike and bloomed. She did grow a new growth in 2022 and that one bloomed, it was a little shorter, probably only went to right here. And this one she's been working on since I believe October of no or November of 2022. So that is just beautiful. I have to be really careful when I'm opening and closing the blind because sometimes the string right here will get caught and I'm always afraid I'm gonna break it. So there's that one. And then of course we have the no ID Phalaenopsis yin yang. And this one I see in my grocery store all the time. For those of you who are interested, you can get her at your probably local grocery store, uh, hardware store, but isn't she just beautiful? I love the spotting on here and this deep, almost magenta purple lip. Oh my goodness, she is just gorgeous. I'm going to hate to cut off her spike, but I do want her to do some more vegetative growth. So she will have to be cut off. I will put this in a vase and enjoy her for as long as she lasts. But I call her yin yang because look at this bloom here. And then look at this one here. They're very similar, but there's slight differences. Like this one has more of the yellow green at the bottom with the spotting and up here at this top sepal. But then this one, there's more, there's some purple spotting along the edge where that one has it, but it's different. I just love these girls. Just, oh, she's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And then we had the No ID Phalaenopsis here that I've had since 2019 that did nothing for a year. And then this is the first reblooming. And I did not know what she was when I first got her. So if you hear the barking, it's because the doggies are around and I am not going to stop filming for that. We have the, which one is this? I always forget the Xing Ying heart that is still in bloom from the care collab that we did. Isn't she just beautiful? I love again, that magenta. And then look at her, look at her hood. Isn't that just beautiful? I love this. Now I did repot her um, while she was in bloom right after the care collab. So she, it's been about two weeks since I repotted her and her bloom does not look like it's going over at all. And then we have Miss Mel Star here. She was sold as Mel Hell, but if you go on to the Google and you compare the two, I think this one looks more like the Mel Star with the green striations in her hood and the yellow, look, bleh, sorry, the yellow sepals and the, the, the pouch. The, I love her. Oh my goodness, I love her. And what else do we have in bloom over here? I don't think I have anything else. I have cut off some blooms. Oh, 
And look, I just got this. This is the Encyclia Bracket Bracketense crossed with nursery rhyme at my local nursery, Nick's Garden Center. And I did get her in spike and in bud. Look at those blooms. Look at those blooms. That bright pink lip against that almost black purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. And I don't know if she's supposed to smell or not, but I do have a bit of a tinge of like a plastic with like pepper undertone. Let me know if I'm right in that. And Miss Fimbrata up there, well, she had a bloom, but it fell. I waited too long. And then there's nothing on this shelf, but on the bottom shelf down here, we have the Dendrobium Chocolate Chip that again, right here, I got her from, again, my local nursery center, Nick's Garden Center. And I, what I like about this, now I know usually you have to look at the top of them to really enjoy them, but I really enjoy this. Look at that. Look at the striations in that lip with the spotting and that throat. Oh my goodness, she is just beautiful. Now these blooms are probably going to go over soon. I bought her with the blooms already open, so she might be going over soon. And then, ha ha, the royal chip that I, let's see if we can get around here, that I purchased from Yoshi at um, Orchids by the Lake. Look at her. Now she is basically white with that purple pink colors on there. And then let's just see if we can get, let me get one of these blooms so we can look at the top of her without breaking her. But the top of her blooms are just as beautiful as, oh, there's a good picture, as the front. Beautiful, just beautiful. And let's see, anything up here, nothing there. I do, I'm waiting for this one. This is the Taishin Black Eagle. Not the Taishing, sorry. It's just the Yin's Black Eagle. Phalaenopsis Yin's Black Eagle crossed with Dragon Tree Eagle with, is that Grosbeck? Grosbeak? How do you say that? I was hoping, I was actually waiting, guys, for this to open because this will be her first reblooming for me. But I'm afraid some of the other blooms are not going to be here. So I wanted to go ahead and film it now. And then this one, look at her. She is a peachy orange now she sits in self-watering but look at the spotting on her oh my goodness with that pink lip loving it and i have not seen that one since i purchased her so purchased her in 2020 so it's been about three years nope 2021 about two years since i've seen her bloom but i will be cutting that bloom off so that i can enjoy some vegetative growth all right, and then we have this one here. Again, a no ID. I think it's the Mamu or something like that, but look at her. I love how it has like, looks like a little paintbrush right there on the end. Somebody painted it with the spotting on the bottom. Oh, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And then, ba -ba -ba -ba, look at Queen's Bear. I know she probably looks a little weird on Let's see if I can take some of the, the lighting off of her. But look at that, she's just basically a purpley pink. Isn't she just pretty? And she has this branch here. Again, she'll go in a vase so she can concentrate on vegetative growth. And then we have Andrea, who has been blooming for a few months now. Again, I'm gonna give her a rest. And this is actually a cakey. And over here, we have a loose berry that I got from the or from Orchid Web that double spiked for me this year. Look at that. Now, she's a continuous bloomer. I know as soon as I cut these blooms, she's going to grow a leaf, and then she's going to end up trying to bloom again. So I'm going to try to stop those spikes. And then let me take you guys over to the other shelf and show you some more blooms. One. All right. So then we have little Miss Iris here. She was the one that was in bloom for practically the entire year of 2022 and 2021. But I am going to go ahead and cut her spike off. She does have another branch. Let's see, where is it? 
um, a branch coming right here and this is off of a branch from the original I've already cut the original back but I really want her to concentrate on filling out a little bit more because this I discovered I thought at first that the leaves were just growing funny but if you really look at her that is actually a cakey that grew because she actually had a terminal spike so she grew this cakey so I want this cakey to continue growing vegetatively so I will be cutting off Miss Iris but she I love the shape of her she has more of a star shaped instead of the round shape and then I just love all the details on her I stand and stare at her many 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 times she's in this main hallway and I, I stop and look at her quite frequently quite frequently and then down here we have this is the DPS uh, Lucky Sun that I got at my local Lowe's back in let's see when was it hold on guys I can't pull her out pull the tag out in 2021 August she's been in bloom since last year of 2022 towards the end of the year like November uh, end of October November she has not lost any buds yet but again she will be getting cut now she's been growing this leaf while she's been in bloom so I could technically leave the bloom on because she is continuing to grow it's not stunting and she does have some more roots coming and as you can see she's got lots of roots in the pot but I want the more leaves I can get the better chance of a double spike next season and then this one is my other loose berry that I purchased from Lowe's before I got the one from Orchid Web and she keeps when I told you they like to bloom so you see how small those last four leaves are it's because she'll grow some leaves then she'll spike she'll grow a leaf stop and spike so I am going to be cutting her off as well and I don't know if you could tell in the other looseberry, but these are aerial root growers. They love to grow their aerial roots, but she's also got roots all up in the pot. So the media is fresh. She's only been in there for maybe a year now. So no need to repot, but look at the delicacy of those. You can see them so much better than the other one. Just beautiful. If these were fragrant, ooh, they could be at the top of somebody's list. Now I've got one more blooming to show you, so I will take you in there. Look at that. My white Easter or Christmas uh, cactus is just exploding in blooms. And I am not sure why, because I fertilize her. I've been watering her. She's got new growths coming. So after this flush, every time I see a new little bud coming, like right here, I am just going to snip it off. Well, I say I'm going to snip it off. It's easier said than done. Snip it off so that she continues to grow. Um, I don't want her blooming as much all year. I want her to get a little bit bigger because last year, this is where she grew in front of this southeast or southwest facing window. And oh my goodness, she just doubled her size from when I got her. So I'm also hoping that this Christmas cactus, this is the red one, will do that. So I recently repotted her into the Imperial Soil from the Orchid Supply Store in this self-watering pot that I had originally gotten for an orchid, but it was way too big, so it fit perfectly in here. I uh, did that about a week ago, and now I am seeing all kinds of new growths coming. So she is hopefully going to at least get half the size she is now, if not double it. But let's just enjoy these girls right here. I wish I had them where I could set them up because look at the detail on the blooms. Let's see if I can find one that's not going over this one. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous with that little tinge of pink on there? Oh, they're just gorgeous. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little small bloom collection. A lot of my novelty fowls are in bud, so we should see a nice little show from them in a few weeks. Go ahead and leave your comments. Let me know if your ladies are in bloom, and we'll see you on the next one.